previously on the Fisayo Explores Kenya. We are currently at Nairobi, Kenya. We are going to Masai Mara. This was definitely the highlight of my day. Yo, this was rare and yet I got to experience it. I was super excited. So we couldn't shout so that we don't scare the lions and so that we don't charge them towards us also. So enjoy this video and go watch the previous episode if you haven't. Lastly, please do subscribe. Hi all liars, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Fisayo and I'm a tourism development advocate. I tell stories from within the sessions I visit, inviting you to my world of travel and giving you insight on what needs to be improved in some African destinations so that Africa can position itself to be number one tourist destination in the world. Enjoy this video. On this episode of the Kenyan series, I'll be bringing you into the interesting lifestyle of the Maasai warriors and the Maasai villagers. Enjoy! Alright guys, we are going to see where is the Maasai village. We see more people like this than Maasai. Jumbo! 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 <laughs> Welcome to our village. My name is Jackson, but that is it's my nickname. My Maasai name, you can call me Percy. So I'm the one who is going to take you around our home and to explain to you the things about Maasai. The typical welcome in the Maasai village will be a short briefing, a participation in their dance, showing you a little bit about their culture, how they start fire, what they sell, and a tour of their village. So here goes. Can we jump with them after? No, no, for men only. Oh, not fair. We are going to do it. <laughs> We're not Maasai, so we can jump. <laughs> so here's a backstory. Women are not allowed to jump. And they are not allowed to do a number of things in the Maasai village. They have a very strict culture. Now you'll have to go and visit my site to read more about the culture. So because of this, we were told we were not going to jump. But you know, as you heard me, I was advocating for us jumping because we're not Maasai. So we shouldn't be constrained to their culture. So eventually we were allowed to jump. Now, this jumping signifies strength. Whoever has the highest jump means that you have the strongest power now that's just the culture of the Maasai. usually they do this when they're about to get married the wife will choose the strongest based on how high the man jumps At this point, we were being taught a part of your culture which involves starting fire without matches or anything, just with stick and yes, basically the amount.
Wajibu kenya. Okay, so for us to make the fire. After jumping with the men and watching the Maasai's make fire with sticks, we then danced with the women and did a little dress up game. spent with the Maasai's, we headed back to our hotel and next day we had another game drive. So guys, we're heading back to the hotel now, we're done with the Maasai's, I hope you enjoyed it. What has been the highlight of this video so far? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to stay awesome, stay inspired. Hold up, hold up, hold up, don't go anywhere yet. This is what you'll be getting next week on the Visaya Exposed Kenya. About our breakfast in the bush, as you can see, I'm walking through the bush. See you next week.